So what happens to your insurances while you're going through a divorce and even after a divorce? Well, that's a very complicated question and there are many different types of insurances that you might have that can be affected differently as you're going through a divorce and ultimately after your divorce is finalized. Typically in the state of Florida, once a divorce case is filed, a, an order gets issued by the clerk of the court, uh, what they call a standing order that says all the insurances that are in existence must stay in place during the pendency of your divorce unless somebody requests the judge authorize a change to insurances. So typically, um, your health insurance, your car insurance, your homeowner's insurance, life insurance, uh, those are going to stay in place as you go through the divorce proceeding. And if you're the person who typically pays that, most of the time you're going to be required to continue paying that through the divorce proceeding. After the divorce, uh, what happens to insurances can depend on if you've uh, divorced by an agreement. So you and your spouse maybe reach terms on what would happen with insurances. Uh, or if the judge actually enters an order, uh, a final judgment, divorcing you um, by a trial versus an agreement. The judge can decide what happens with insurances. Now, health insurance is one that's difficult for you to continue on your spouse's or your ex-spouse's uh, plan after the divorce has happened. So that has to be factored into the terms of resolving uh, the divorce and the property distribution, alimony awards, and things like that. Uh, life insurance is one that is typically um, can be awarded uh, to secure the payment of future obligations. So, for example, if a spouse um, and they get divorced and that spouse has an obligation to pay, say, alimony, spousal support, or even child support, uh, that could be an ongoing obligation for years, and the judge can, or by agreement you can, put into place a requirement that that uh, spouse who has to make the payments secure or maintain a uh, policy of life insurance in order to protect that award. For example, if there were children and there was an ongoing child support obligation and that parent of the child, the ex-spouse, were to die, that support that would have been coming through to the children is no longer available. And so uh, having a life insurance policy in place so that if something were to happen, that uh, paying spouse were to die, that insurance could replace the support that would be lost by way of the death. Uh, typically, uh, property insurance like automobile and homeowner's insurance are going to go with the asset, whoever gets awarded that asset. Uh, for more questions on uh, divorce, insurances, uh, drop them in the comments. We're happy to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching.